Hi, welcome to Use Collision, a way to enable more controllabilities for text-to-image generation models. Collision goes beyond text prompts, enriching user experiences with new interaction capabilities. Besides language prompt, you may draw bounding boxes, put the object anywhere you want. You can also draw key points, creating animations and gestures you like. You may further use an image to specify the style of the generated images, creating personalized posters for your favorite celebrity. You can also use the image prompt to specify the object entity, creating an image for your OPAT or product brand. OK, let's dive in and begin with the bounding box prompt which is probably the simplest way one can specify the spatial configuration of an object. Go to the demo website, choose the task grounded generation. To start, we type in the text prompt as usual. To specify the grounding instruction, we select the objects of interest. This could be suggested automatically using entity extraction in the future. We then draw bounding boxes in order. In this case, astronaut on left, basketball on top, and cat on right. We may click the button generate for results, or choose advanced options, for example, change the number of images as four. In 10 seconds, Glidging produces a batch of images for you. You may choose a different random set and ask Glidging to generate again. In all these cases, we see that the object layouts are well aligned with user intended spatial instruction, and the image appearances are diverse. You may rearrange the boxes and create your own astronaut cat basketball game in the universe. In the second example, a woman hugging a giant cat. If our goal is to generate both objects with the same size, we could draw equal size bounding boxes. However, if we want to create a really giant cat, we could tell this to Glidging by drawing a box, making it giant in whatever way we like. From these examples, we see unlike existing models that are generating images with language alone, Glidging is better aligned with human intent by following the new user-specified grounding instruction. Though powerful, language instruction alone is insufficient or hard to follow. For example, DALI 2 and Stable Diffusion have a hard time to follow the instruction, the cat is as giant as a girl. There are many cases that similar comparisons happen, for example, between a dog and an apple, or between a chicken and an egg. Glidging can often impress you, generating creative images by following novel human-instructed spatial configurations. Besides the spatial prompt, Glidging allows users to upload images to control their image generation. Let's resume the giant cat example. With the same box instruction, we go to advanced option and choose to upload an image to specify the style and the background of the generated image. For example, the Microsoft logo. Glidging will follow all these instructions in image generation. While the spatial layout remains the same, the generated images are now constructed with several large colored regions. Following the simple design spirit of Microsoft logo, you can also create images in a more art style, for example, The Starry Night by Van Gogh. What if your little daughter gives you an image of a flower in clip art? You may make a gift for her by painting the same cat content in the image style she likes. Sometimes, Image style can be better expressed by an image than language. Glidging enables the image prompting capability to achieve style transfer. You may also use image prompt to specify the object entity, creating potential opportunities in the branding and e-commerce space. Glidging also supports grounded image in painting. We switch to the task grounded in painting. Upload that image, type in the text prompt. For the grounded instruction, we tell Glidging what are the objects we would like to impate, then draw their spatial layouts using boxes one by one. In this case, a squirrel and a space needle. Glidging produces a set of edited images with diverse object appearances, 
all objects fall into instructive spatial boxes, smoothly transitioning from the rest of the image. We may try a different spatial layout, for example, put Space Needle on the set, gliding images and create Space Needle-like towers for the new scenario. For a teddy bear, we could easily design a new virtual try-on plan, use text and box, and let gliding take care of the details. We can also edit the image using the object entities from another image, synthesizing personalized content with your own photos. Gliding enables many new capabilities and opportunities beyond text prompt. Go explore gliding, creating images with more controllability.